your boy Joe back at it again. Codingface.com. Your boy's back out and did it again. All right, guys. Listen, this week in codingface.com, what have I been up to? All right. Pretty much, you know, I've been here knocking things out, knocking videos out for you guys. You know, we updated the timeline. Uh, basically, we finished the terminal. Uh, we finished. What else we finished? We finished the ES6, right? So all of the ES6 videos are complete, right? And then from there, we jumped right onto the React course, guys. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get it out the way. Because I know a lot of people have been asking for it. And they're like, you know what, Joe? Go ahead, give us the five projects. And what better way than to do it with React, right? Just to make sure that you get higher, guys. That's the whole plan. So pretty much I, I spent uh, the first half of the week working on the introduction to React. A very simple tutorial, a very simple uh, way for you to understand it and just plain words right showing you step by step on how to basically start with react and I didn't go really too deep into this introduction because I wanted to have you guys go deep but on the projects themselves right so you can understand what's the process of building web applications all right and also basically all the skills that I have and how I work at my job right and the things that are people are basically expecting from you right so that's what I've been up to uh, basically you know set up our project uh, did that right, guys, so now that you know, know <laughs> got that laid down uh, let me see what else uh, let me mute the let me mute this for you guys uh, basically we got the project I start from the header uh, right now I finished the header uh, we laid down the HTML, uh, basically breaking down everything into components, you know, which is pretty cool because a lot of people, they think that you have to code in HTML, CSS first and then jump into react. And it's like, no, you could start building your page directly from react. You don't have to go in coding HTML and CSS first and then jump to react. No, you could do that, uh, straight. In JavaScript right like in JSX like that's the beauty of react It's like you're not uh, doing something that's completely different you're like oh I'm gonna go and start making HTML CSS and then I'm gonna convert it to JavaScript and then do the JSX no you do everything from scratch with react right so that's the beauty of it so what I did was basically this week we I basically just went in did the header right so the header is already done right now we did the header broke this down into uh, uh basically the header that's one component then this area is one component and then inside of this component there's two components which are the filters and then the listings and then what's crazy i also broke it down into mo more components so pretty much you have this here that's a component right this right here is a component this whole area right here is a component. The pagination is a component. All right. And then from there, the footer is pretty much static. So that's going to be a, a separate component, which we're going to call footer. <laughs> right. So that's what I've been up to, man. Right now, uh, if you guys want to see exactly to what part we're up to right now, uh, I'll show you somewhere here. Let me see. Where's the project? Um, Give you guys exactly a, a preview where we at currently so let me see i think it's localhost 3000 okay this is where we at so we got the logo we got the menu we got the button on top now it's about breaking everything off like this is how i do my things i i, I pretty much go in and I lay everything down in html right jsx right and then from there i give it the styles so it's pretty easy it's an easy way to learn and then from there i do a final retouch to the css where i come in and make everything nice and nice and clean but at first it's just pretty much laying everything down to see how i you know how i'm gonna lay down the components and then from there we go into the logic 
which is probably like the second part of the whole the whole project right but right now we're just building things up man that's what i'm telling you guys man you guys should definitely check this out a lot of people are uh, sending me emails telling me like they enjoying this they really didn't think that react was gonna be this easy and i'm like yeah man it's pretty easy like you know what i mean like <laughs> I have everything already set up for you guys. You don't have to worry about Gulp. You don't have to worry about Webpack. So you're pretty much hitting the ground running, learning the framework first, and then learning all the other stuff that, you know, takes a little while to build. You know, like, uh, you know, either Gulp, you could use Fusebox, you could use Webpack, you know, whatever you want, right? Um, I was talking to uh, this kid, I forgot his name, I think Felipe or something like that. Um he was telling me oh joe why didn't you do this in webpack and you know you could have just done everything in webpack and there's a video that i'm building about it like <laughs> why i don't use webpack to do everything for me like i like the idea of having control of basically uh, of my task with go you know everybody has their own workflow right me i'm a goat guy i'm kind of switching up to a uh, fuse box which is gonna be a new tutorial that I'm gonna do for you guys. Um, that's gonna be another free tutorial because it's pretty easy and it's pretty legit. So I want you guys to learn that before everybody start jumping on it. You know me, I'm the guy that comes in, tells you about something before everybody start jumping on it. By the time that they jump on it, I'm like, oh, that's old for me. You know what I mean? Like I already been doing it, right? It's like hyper app. I was looking at a couple of how you call it is like blogs and i'm like man everybody talking about hyper app now i'm like i've been talking about this i've been doing this already you know what i mean like <laughs> i'm one of the first people online with tutorials on hyper app right we're still not done with this we're still gonna do a couple of more projects of this this week so probably tomorrow i'm gonna do another project on this and this is completely free guys you could come here sign up register follow this it's a great way to to start you up as a you know for, um, for a front end javascript course and it's completely free guys come check it out all of you guys that uh can't sign up for the subscription take advantage of the of the free courses that are here man we got the let's build a netflix clone let's build the instagram clone it's great ways for you for you guys to really go in and you know basically go hard another thing that we did uh this week was basically we opened up this uncut coding face uncut um i have a couple of videos that i'm uploading probably by the time you see this video the video should should be here all you have to do is pretty much just come into the website register um register and just enroll for this this thing here like it's it's technically like a course but it's not really a course it's just me putting videos that i'm not gonna put on youtube because they just too raw you know what i mean like it's too raw for youtube i can't put it but for you guys that enjoy having your boy joe go wild or, or share my opinions on, on things and you know i don't know man whoever likes uh what i do on youtube but want to see uh the uncut version listen check out coding phase uncut just come to the website register and you good all right guys like I said, guys, that's what we're doing right now. Um, there's a couple of other things that I want to come back. Um, I told you guys, like, once you buy a course or you sign up, whatever, to, to my website, I'm always constantly adding more stuff to it. So I'm going to take this, which is the Learn HTML and CSS by Building a Cool Social Media. I'm also adding it to this, this course, uh, basically Build a Responsive Web App. So we're doing the part two of this on this one which is going to be a continuation to building responsive apps right Re responsive web apps so pretty much what we're doing is making this this whole project that we did here making it responsive so yeah man that's what we wh what we up to right now um let me see what else what else is up for this week man uh <laughs> sometimes it's hard man it's like you know me i, I don't come here i plan things out um, I also have the I know how to code now what today I'm dropping the basically the the top websites to find a job and then from there after that I'm gonna do another website that for people who are looking for remote jobs you know there's a lot of people that want to get a remote job so I'm basically giving you guys that and yeah man so 
that's what's up on this week on codingface.com, man. I'll see you guys later, man. I love you guys. Listen, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. And come to the website, codingface.com. Register, guys. This guy, this thing is for you guys, man. Like, this is not for nobody else. This is for you guys. I want you guys to take advantage. All of this courses is going to be on Udemy pretty soon. And, you know, they're going to be sold for a premium. You guys is pretty much just because you come from YouTube and you know me from YouTube, you pretty much get the super discount. All right. I love you guys. Stay up, man. Um, and yeah, man, any questions, guys, you know, send me a message. Also, too, man, like like I said, man, we opening up the comments. So, like, let's say you're taking this course, right? And somewhere, a lot of people have issues on setting up their environment, for example, right? You could come here, leave a comment. I'll help you out. You know, you got Desmond's uh, sign. He has some issue. Um, basically, uh, I told him, like, yo, just send me the information. If I can't figure it out from here, what I would do is, basically, I'm going to tell him, like, you know, send me an email directly send me the image of what exactly is the the issue that you're having uh from what i'm seeing here can i find module gulp sas all you have to do is install gulp sas i know it sounds crazy but <laughs> that's pretty much probably it right now of course there's probably some windows error or you know which is what i tell people man you gotta jump on either linux or mac guys like i swear to god when it comes to to development guys you have to always do like a hoop you got to do a 360 uh flip in the air to make things work on windows when on max in linux you get that by just having the system like these tools are made for unix right most of the systems are you know like npm yarn all, all of this stuff are, are are really made for um for unix systems right and it's like you're, you're simulating you simulating the server right the servers are not run on windows unless you have like a .NET server but nobody runs that <laughs> you know what i mean you go to godaddy nobody has a, a a .NET server right you go to um uh whatever uh digital ocean all of these systems are, are are basically built on on linux you go to amazon web aws they all on linux guys so it's like you know <laughs> I don't know what, what else to tell you, man. That's why I tell you guys, Linux for Windows, right? Or if not, man, just go here. Look, Bash Ubuntu. Because in reality, the, the problem is not Windows. The problem is is the, the command line, man. You can't, you've pretty much like, I don't know, it's like handicapped, right? The whole system is messed up, man. So it's like, Come here, install this Windows subsystem for Linux documentation. Install this, man. That's all you really need, guys. <laughs> Those guys that are on Windows and you're having trouble with, with certain things, um, look it up online, man. YouTube it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can't, I can't only help so much. I don't have a Windows computer. I try to stay away from Windows computers. Um, basically, but everything that I do, works for windows linux and mac it's just take a little time guys to basically either install bash ubuntu or pretty much look it up on youtube how to run node on your windows computer because i don't have windows <laughs> all right guys i love you guys man stay up um i'm sorry if i made this video a little bit long, longer than it should be um it's just a, a little quick update of what I'm doing, what the hell I'm up to. And yeah, man, stay up. Love you guys. Jump Bye. back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Listen, this whole course right here that you are watching here on YouTube is part of a larger course, man. It's part of the, the big picture, guys. It's part of the five projects that's going to get you hired. Now, you guys have seen the video that I created basically going over every single project that you need to build guys if you do this in react pretty much you're you're set right now i'm actually going to take my time i'm going to build all of those five projects for you guys so you guys can build this with me and you can use this for your portfolios guys major websites 
this is major key guys all right just go to coningface.com register guys subscribe if you guys don't want to wait for this course to somehow be released on youtube come to the website you can watch it right now you don't have to wait i'll see you guys later bye